running on Intel architecture. Sure, I'm going to show you an example because there's going to be many, many consumer applications out when Windows 8 Store launches. And I have one example right here, and it's running on this Clover Trail tablet. It's the Asus Vivo tab. I'm just going to dock and show you. And it's running the Windows 8 UI. I know a lot of you probably still call it Metro, but don't do that because Microsoft won't like that. And um, we can run many things on here, such as this one from Cyberlink. It's called PowerDirector Mobile. With a few quick clicks, I can actually go ahead and create a video. And it's a very simple, basic um, example that I want to do here. Let's see, I'm just going to just go to the style now. Choose this theme, which automatically um, puts in the transitions. And I can see that I have a sim semi-professional video that I can actually go out and produce onto the web, Facebook, whatnot. So it's a very simple, easy interface. Great. What happens if I want to use the same application and run, will it run on an Intel Core tablet or convertible? Well, actually, there's a lot of things we show. Well, first I want to show you actually what it looks like if you run a Windows 7 app on a Clover Trail, because it is I after all. And I go ahead and go to the desktop, and here, you know, it's our desktop we all know love. I take up one of my Windows 7 apps, and there it is, right there. But now, since you asked about Core, let's go ahead and show you that. Here, I know that you had fun converting Ultrabooks over there. Well, I'm going to show you one of my favorites here. This is the Dell XPS Duo, and wham, now a tablet. This is third generation Intel Core processor inside, and I'm going to, you know, the beauty about Core is that you have access to a lot more features inherent with Intel architecture, like quick sync video. I can render videos faster if I wanted to, but I'm not going to show you that because that would be a very long demo here. But here, we can see that I'm doing something new with the next generation power director suite. And this is motion tracking. This is something new to consumers. And what it's doing is actually going through and tracking the object throughout the video so that it creates a mask. And with that mask, maybe I'm not a big fan of yellow parachutes. But no problem, I could just go ahead and um, maybe choose, let's say, this yellow color right here. And then I'm going to say I want that to be purple. So now if I play that, I now have a purple parachute. 